I just realized? Like, I realized after watching the episode of Kiss Him Not Me this week, I realized this was Mayoiga. This straight up was Mayoiga. If you've ever seen that series, which I pray to God you haven't, but if you have ever seen that disastrous piece of shit Mayoiga, then you'll obviously see how this is kind of like an episodic episode of that. Like, the entirety of the series into one episode. And I'm like... Okay. 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 I just, like, that. then, then, you know... Yeah. Anyways, so... This episode was about seeing ghosts and finding out everything that was supernatural in this episode was thanks to mushrooms. Yes, so all the main cast of characters, they accidentally ate some mushrooms that caused them to hallucinate and then they started seeing shit. And so that was the explanation for all the ghosts we saw in this episode. And to be honest, I would have came into this episode being rather upset and angry if that explanation did not happen. Because, see, I'm fine with, you know, spirits and stuff in shows. Uh, don't get me wrong. But with the way the series is orientated around, you know, just slice of life comedy and being set in, like, real world type stuff, it would have kind of disappointed me if they would have threw in something like that. If it's an OVA or something or a special episode, I can look past it. Like a side chapter or something or like a side episode, I can understand something like that. But when it has something to do with the core story or whatever, that's something that would bug me if it didn't get explained. Because, I mean, with spirits and stuff like that, adding in like a supernatural tag, you'll be like, what the hell is going on? I mean, I thought this was a slice of life. But thanks to finding out at the end of the episode that was thanks to hallucinations, everything worked out in the end. It didn't bug me anymore. I'm like, okay, I can... I could deal with this. I could definitely deal with this, and I can definitely be completely fine with this episode. So, overall, I do have to say, this is probably one of the weakest episodes yet of Kiss Him, Not Me. Because, personally, I, I just feel like the atmosphere of it was completely different from what I like from Kiss Him, Not Me. See, the reason why I like this series is just because of the, you know, overall interactions between the main cast of characters, and how our main female character, how she wants to, you know, see the guys to get together instead of her getting together with them, I and mean, all this, like, drama or these complicated issues and stuff with, you know, how she's, like, into Yaoi and stuff, it's just something that's very funny to watch, and that's why I've loved the series of Kiss Him, Not Me. It's like a really good reverse harem, probably one of the best reverse harems I've ever seen, and an episode like this, it really goes against what the series was about. It's like taking a break from what makes this series so good. That That's the best way I can kind of emphasize what this episode is about. It is taking away what makes Kiss Him, Not Me, good. And that is the comedy to the interactions between the characters in their setting at school or whatever when they're going to conventions. And that, that's kind of what this episode did. It took all that away and made it about just, you know, going on a, you know, a trip, like a, a trip or whatever with the friends, seeing a bunch of spirits, getting scared, finding out, you know, it was a bunch of mushrooms that made them see it. And so, yeah, I, I feel like this episode overall was the weakest. And I'm not just saying that, you know, this makes, you know, the entirety of the series bad. It does not. I still love Kiss Him, Not Me. But this episode, though, I gotta say, I'm just not a big fan of. I'm truly not. I'm gonna be brutally honest with all of you. You all, I, you know, you, I think you all deserve my honesty. I respect you all enough to just say what I truly think about, you know, an episode or a series. And personally, I just, I didn't really care much about this episode. I, I really did not. I mean, the comedy overall, is just, it was okay. It was nothing to my complete liking. It was lacking the comedy I truly enjoyed from the series. And also, I mean, just you know, the way the romance or the kisses were done, it, it felt a little bit, it was funny, but sometimes it did feel a little bit forced, especially with how the drowning scene was, and then, you know, the, the kiss and all that, the yaoi kiss, it just felt a little bit forced compared to how some of the other interactions were throughout the series. But besides that, though, let's talk about Senpai and our main female character. So, Senpai, that man made some very big moves in this episode. Like, damn, that may, man made a lot of moves. Like, he straight up undressed our main female character, chilled next to her in a blanket, then when she was dry and she was still unconscious, he put her clothes back on. Like, that man, that man made some very huge steps with his relationship with her. I'm like, did I just see this man do this? Like, what the hell? Like, the man, 
He's so innocent in some ways, but at the same time, the way he can go about it, he's just so smooth. The way he just interacts with our main characters. And just, like, that interaction, like, that was definitely the winning part of the episode. Like, that was probably the best part of the episode. Just to see how this man was just so smooth and nobody really knows anything after all of it is said and done. Even though everything was, like, kind of like a hallucination, that still happened. So that was not a hallucination. That interaction between them really did happen. So, yeah, I mean, overall, I say this episode episode of Kiss Him, Not Me. It was okay. I mean, some might truly enjoy this episode because, as always, comedy, you know, subjective. Yeah, it just it comes down to your personal preference, but I just think this episode went a direction or a step away from what truly makes this series good, and that is, you know, keeping to the comedy that kind of breaks the mold of tr the traditional reverse harems, especially how this really shows, like, a different side to reverse harems, you know, with Fujoshi and stuff. It's just something you don't normally see, so I would like to see, you know, them go back to the traditional stuff in next week's episode. Hopefully this isn't a reoccurring thing. So yeah, you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.